Hello, I am Russell96, and welcome back to another episode of my Dark Souls 2 playthrough. Um, let's get right into it. I am going to attempt to do the entire um, Pilgrims of Dark Covenant today. Um, I think it should be possible as long as I don't get caught up on any one part, but I think that kind of goes without saying, because if everything goes smoothly, it shouldn't take much time. So, yeah. Um, I think I'll try and use this setup. I actually respect again. Um, I have a hundred or so less HP. Um, five less endurance. I'm not really sure how much stamina that translates to, but I still feel I have enough stamina. Um, I got rid of one attunement slot because I felt that my casting speed is so bad. I was never going to hit anyone with a great combustion, but warmth is good for, like, invading. Because, like, I would probably say 7 out of 10 people I invade, like, they'll just chug Estus right in front of me. They'll just stop moving, chug Estus, and there's nothing I can do about it. So it's nice to be able to kind of counter their heals. Um... But I have 40 strength and 30 dex. I probably really don't need two points in dex. Um, and I went 40 strength instead of 40 dex because it seems like for quality weapons, strength scaling is generally about twice as good as dex scaling. And I have 24 adaptability now because I needed one more point to get back up to 100 agility. Um, but yep, those are the changes I made. Let's parry the crap out of this little evil imposter. Boom. And repost. Eh, that's a decent repost. It could be a little bit better, but I'll take it. Ow. Come on. Evil. I'm not, I'm not going after you over there. There's other enemies that would kill me. Boop. Uh, small shields are, I mean, small shields aren't as overpowered as, say, a Monastery Scimitar for parries, but they still probably have too good of parry frames, if you ask me, because it's a bit much. I'm not sure, I'm sure I've seen that spell before, I just, like, didn't register it. Well, we're doing good for the Bonfire Aesthetics pickups. I like it. Um, let's kill Ricard over here. I, yeah, he's Ricard. Boop. Uh. That doesn't seem quite right. I'm, you would think a, um, full Havel guy would take less damage from a Repose than a guy in Elite Knight. I mean, I'm not complaining. Um, well, it also kind of depends on what way it goes. Does the guy in Havels have less defense than they normally would, or does the guy in Elite Knight have more? I do not know. Or really care, because it's not that much of an issue. Um, but I've done a lot of invading on this build. I've been ha having a decent amount of fun, even though, like I said, a lot of people heal, and that kind of gets rid of some of the fun, but makes the... F on the plus side, it makes the fight last longer. It's just not fun when the person healing is using very quote-unquote scumbaggy tactics where, like, yeah. Because those fights just get annoying whenever you're finally close to killing them after, like, yeah. Then they just heal and the fight starts all over again, only it doesn't because I'm already half dead. I got that HP. Gonna have to parry and repost her. Nope. 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 Yep. And 1600 damage. Okay, I'm thinking that the armor these guys have is like completely um, unimportant and literally all it does is like it's just different models and not different enemies. Well, no, the Havel guy. Maybe, uh, maybe for, maybe it's like that just for, um, yeah. armor, because I, the damages are different. Oh, and I also bought a red ton of great arrows after upgrading a, 
great bow because yeah um great bows are fun and kind of overpowered but yeah that's besides the point um let's do the shaded ruins one next because yeah um i'm trying to think of i think i'll do the what's it called um black gulch one for the well actually i might do nope i won't do this one um I'm thinking I'll probably try and do the Black Gulch for, like, fighting the Dark Lurker. And right now that's what it will end up being. So if we manage to get lucky and kill the Dark Lurker on our first try, this video might end up being kind of short because I'm not sure what else I have yet have to do. I said that really weird, Fine. but I do no. not care. Yeah. Give Some human effigy. Yep. And I really don't need to be wearing my Ring of Life protection right now because, yeah, ooh, 20.5k souls. Shine. So, like, yeah, not it's not worth repairing it because repairing it is 3k, so, yeah, I'm not really protecting much by wearing it. And I mean I have the human effigies to burn, and if I burn all the human effigies... I have the bonfire aesthetics to burn, literally, I guess, um, to get more. Um, I guess this one isn't that bad for, like, Dark Lurker runs. You just have to, like, lure the enemies correctly. Because if you don't lure them correctly, it's terrible having to fight, like, three of them at one time. Oop. I don't know why, um... I wonder, like, oh shoot, no, no, you, s yeah, that's this, that's this, why, is he right behind me, because he has daggers, and daggers would hurt, no, the archer's right behind me, what are they doing, oh my god, that crit, not that that really means much, but I will take it nonetheless, quick, a stock. Oh my god, the AI. That back step. I, I have to c continually remind myself that I cannot cheese Dark Souls 2 AI as much as you could Dark Souls 1 AI. Because Dark Souls 1 AI was, you could literally just kick the enemy off a cliff, and that would work perfectly fine. I don't have stamina. This might actually work better. That worked so much, unbelievably. Why am I using life gems? I don't. I don't need to save my S this for a boss. Wow, doing it wrong. Oh, so terribly wrong. Let's kill the spooky bush wizard. Oh, I thought that wasn't gonna hit. Frickin' insta wog, poise through everything. Did he heal himself, or was that just like a great magic barrier? Oh my god, how am I getting such good bonfire aesthetic drops? Ugh. Oh, and we need to use a flame butterfly. And set light. Set fire to the weird beacon bonfire type thing, only it's not a bonfire, so yeah. Um. Yeah, I'm not really sure what else there is to do after the Dark Lurker as far as the New Game Plus run goes. Might, um... Yeah, I'm not completely decided if I'm going to go into New Game Plus Plus yet on this build. Because it would make more sense to go into New Game Plus Plus on my... My... Pyro build or uh, Faith build, because the reason I would go into New Game Plus Plus would be to get the... Um, covenant spells that would take forever to get otherwise. A stock OP against AI. Well, it's still pretty good for PvP, especially when fighting someone who only tries to trade and not, like, tactically think about what they're doing because. Like, every, as far as I'm aware, everything only has a two-hit combo. After two hits, 
or four hits if your power stands in, but that's like two attacks still, but like it, I'm fairly sure after two hits you can roll away from most stuff, but when you try and then trade with said like after the two hits if you Fine. keep mashing your no. attack button you'll yeah. just get stun locked I'm again if their weapon's faster than yours so it's fun fighting people who don't understand the roll away then like regain your bearings concept in PvP May and just dog. keep attacking uh, okay now let's go to the black gulch and do that and we're only like a little, eh, we're 10 minutes, 40 some seconds in, so. We have time if the Dark Lurker gives us trouble, which I'm kind of expecting it will, because I don't have Pyromancy or. Well, I don't have Pyromancy. That's. That's a large part of it. Well, I guess I. Well, I have a pyromancy, but not the casting speed or fire bonus to back up any offensive pyromancies. How did I not get hit by anything doing that? Acceptable. <laughs> no. Yeah. The monster. Um, yeah, it might be a fairly difficult fight because we're in new game plus and on a, for the most part, oh, melee only dang. build. Like we have a bow, but. Generally, I use only melee while fighting. So yeah, this boss might be kinda interesting. Actually, I did, uh, like, skip or not do an area in the DLC, and now it's just dropping down in the Dragon Sanctum into the bug-filled room, like taking a right after falling down the gap in the stairs, or technically left or right depending on what way you look at it. Oh my god, that damage. Oh my god, that fail parry. Oh my god, that actual parry. Oh my god, the spooky ghost wizard. <laughs> I'll stop now. Boop. Freaking trying to... Oh my god, that animation can't... Oh my god, that damage. <laughs> Radiant life gem. Radiant life gem. Oh my god, the Pyromancers. And he asked this. Uh, close enough, I guess. Um, not really, remotely at all. Um, let's not use a human effigy after every death, because if we do that, will burn through them much faster than if we were to do like every other death because we have to burn one to even get back into the place no. yeah come on if but i mean we do have like 60 some so it really doesn't matter but yeah i just feel like prolonging the amount of time until i have to farm stuff so yeah um yeah to fight the Turtle Knight guy, I basically have to parry him. Almost actually switch to a higher repost damage weapon, such as the Black Knight Halberd. Because it, it has good repost damage. Though, I'm not sure how good it would be on this build, because I don't have the highest decks. Nope. Oh. Do a different attack. That I can... Yeah. Just keep doing that, guy. Okay, that's noticeably better. Like, 400 damage better. I, 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 darn guy. Oh no, don't ask this on me now. Good, good. Okay, um, I cannot parry the spooky ghost wizard or the pyromancer, so let's just kinda kill them. Like such. Um, Pyromancer. Oh my god, that tracking. Let's give ourselves a nice forbidden fun to the face. Did very little damage. Well, not very little. It did. It did a, it did a small amount of damage. Oh. Alright, good. Heal. Life gem. 
Ezt tánk, ezt tánk, ezt tánk, ezt tánk, ezt tánk. Oh my god, the forbidden sun spam. Okay, that's two in a row. Can you do three? Oh my god, what about four? You started so you can't stop. I think that was going to be either a forbidden sun or a... What's it called? Great combustion. So that would have been, what, five or four or five forbidden suns in a row, which is kind of annoying. But whatever. The guy's dead now. So, yeah. Um. And uh, flame a butterfly. And set light. And I think I won't use the Yorg Spear for the, um, Dark Lurker because it is a slower weapon and having recovery frames to have to recover from after an attack is not good for that boss, especially when it, like, splits. Oh my god, that parry. Or lack thereof. Oh my god, that parry. Yeah. Yeah, my good. That was me trying to weapon swap. As you can see, it did not work at all. Oh my god. Eh. Darn it. I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take it. Yep. That's something I would like to get better at, just weapon swapping. No, 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 just no. I'm thinking the Curve Dragon Greatsword would be a good weapon. Or maybe even the, um, Murakumo. How much less stamina does that take? I think it will take about the same. Yeah, it's about the same, and this does... How much more damage? Uh... 89? Yep. Okay, and let's actually, well, let's save a human effigy in case we get killed by Pyromancer and Spooky Ghost Wizard. Quick, the water. Even though I don't think it does much of anything. That damage too. It's almost as much as a repose. Oh my god. They can, I wonder if the game is just crashing on them or if they just have to keep relogging like steam was down like right before I started recording which was kind of annoying it's like try and sign into Dark Souls 2 oh steam is down yeah it seems like steam has been getting like very inconsistent lately like it's down a lot of the time which is kind of annoying but whatever I mean it's not like too big of a deal if I can't play a game so yeah, um, shield's not very worth it. Ooh, they're dragon ring. Switch to the other one so it doesn't break mid-fight. And, do we have flame resin or whatever it's called? Charcoal pine resin. Okay, it retained the same name. That's good. And I'm almost positive a buff will not transfer as I fall down into the actual boss. Let's use a human effigy and a life gem. Just like a small life gem because it doesn't really matter. And drums up, let's do this. I'm hoping I do like a ridiculous amount of damage with this weapon against this guy. Starts off with that frickin' attack. Oh my god, I'm gonna take so much damage. Shoot. That is not what I intended to do. Eh, <laughs> close. Nope. What? Okay, steam is down again. Fantastic. Explosion. 
Good thing that little pop-up didn't come out or come up at yeah, it's talking. Oh my god. I can't even right now. Um, good thing that little you are disconnected from Steam thing didn't come up at a different time because would be no Espelina if it did. Laser beam! And I don't have a ranged attack to punish that, so yeah. I have a feeling we are going to get literally destroyed when the second one comes up. Yeah, well, let's not give up all hope quite yet. We are doing decent damage. Oh my god, that damage. Oh my god, I'm not sure if it was a one-shot or... Well, I instantly died, I know that much. I'm not sure if it was a one-shot or, like, just them both hitting me at near the same time. But I died. A lot. Um, I think I'm gonna use the other, the Shaded Forest, or Ruins bonfire because but it has a lot less pyromancers which is good um and I, I lose my souls but whatever um let's use this to get there actually I know why I was taking so much pyromancy damage this lowers um magic dark fire and lightning by 70 or the defenses by 70 so let's not use that because the ghost wizards are very magic-y. And then the dark lurker does magic damage. Well, I, was, I wasn't using the weapon though, so it made sense. So yeah, um... We got killed really badly. Yeah, yeah, give him a human effigy. And the annoying thing is you can't speed run to the Dark Lurker, you actually have to kill everything up to it. So yeah. And most of the time if you try and speed run past stuff, they'll just all catch up and, like, really brutally murder anything in their way. Because NPC's OP. Yeah, I'm over here. You know you want to come and say hi. A stock cheese activate. Boop, 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 boop. Where's my critting? It's not an existent. Oh my god, that damage. Or lack thereof. Yeah, kill him. Good. Hey, walk over here. You know you want to, NPC. Oh my god, this cheese. Oop, there's a crit. I'm not really sure how much more noticeable the damage was. Let's wait for stamina. And cha. That's what you get, S this user. <laughs> and, and I think healing with S. Like, it's only when the area is already cleared and they're obviously not going for the boss. And then they just S this anyway. Like, it's. Like, if they're actually going through the level, I think it's perfectly fine for a host to heal. It's just really annoying when it's obvious that they're waiting for PvP. And then they try and win in the most. Like. cheesy way possible, I guess. Not sure why I did that. Whatever. Um, our clip roll, or. Quick load is perfectly fine. Um, let's parry this guy. I always do that. I don't know why. S stock cheese. Go. 500 damage. Why? That's a little bit better. Doing good. That freaking ring of restoration or, po or potentially a spell. At no stamina because roll and at dead NPC and bonfire aesthetic. 
Oh my god, why did I use us this? Actually, um, we won't really use an offhand ass stock or that. And let's have more stamina. Ooh, I like this. And uh, human effigy because maybe it will save us and we'll end up having a sliver of HP if we don't. Um, let's unequip these and let's go for it. And I guess we were kind of close, we just kind of got a bit greedy towards the end there. He's a fire in his fire. Oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> oh god, we might die. Yep. I hate that attack so much because the AoE on the explosion is almost undodgeable. I've no I know I've dodged it in the past, I just can't. Um, to save time, I am going to get back to the boss, and yeah, we'll continue from there. Okay, I'm back at the boss, and let's try again, hopefully without, like, a lot less failing this time, because that was just kind of pathet uh, pathetic. Needs more sprinting. Oh my god, this freaking attack, where's the other orb? Okay, that worked. We just have to run back to it and dodge through it. Yep, keep doing your sword thing. That never hits anything. Only when it does, it does quite a bit of damage. Let's actually get our stamina all the way back, because little stamina is bad time. Good, good. Good, good. Good, Dark Lurker. I actually wonder, what is the lore behind this guy? Is he just a spooky ghost, dude? Oh. The sword hit stuff. Darn it. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna get back there again. And we shall try again. Okay, I'm back here again. We're on our last charcoal pine resin, but I believe Orn effects sells them, so if need be, I can always go get more. Hopefully we'll just win on this attempt, though. No! Oh, the flying of unpunishableness. And the laser beam of laser beam Yes. And the attack of frickin' Okay, so we just... Where is him? I found him. Spooky ghost. Laser beam. How did that hit me? Most of the time I may, I'm like wondering why it's not hitting me, but that's like, what? <laughs> Life gem. Because he will not tilt his beam a little bit to hit me while I'm right underneath him. Laser beam. I think I jinxed it by saying it never hits anyone. Oh my god. I'm still wondering, is that... Oh my god, there's a dad. Jump. If you can't tell, I don't like that attack. Let's wait for our HP to get a little bit higher. And I switched the... Um... Blossom kite shield for my normal, or I guess the shield I've been using on this build. Oh crap, I missed out on a lot of damage right there. Nope. Oh. I don't see how I'm gonna do any damage against them if they both. Oh, and this attack. Run and jump! Yeah, <laughs> and I think I might be dead. Okay, he is currently doing that. Get out of the way. Keep getting out of the way. They're doing their own thing. Um, prepare for laser. Dodge the laser. Dodge the sword. 
punish for the sword and take a laser to the face? I don't know where. Oh, oh god, dang it. <laughs> oh, I didn't see him because he was flying. Oh my god. Uh, I'm going to go get more um, charcoal pine resin and I will we'll try again. Oh my god. <laughs> Okay, um, I was wrong with where charcoal pine resin was sold, but this guy has some stuff we could buy. Um, I haven't shown it on this playthrough, but I've already, I've gotten it on a different playthrough because I farmed stuff and went back to the guy and looked at it. But he sells the Dragon Rider armor, which is kind of cool. If I can find it, yep. Um, it... Well, as far as the armor itself goes, it's basically the Dragon Rider Cheers. armor. It looks like the Dragon Rider armor. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go get back to the Whoa. Dark Lurker. I could actually probably buy yeah, buy more charcoal pine resin. Let's buy not eleven. Let's buy ten more. But yeah, um, I'll see you guys back at the Dark Lurker. Okay, let's go for it again. Oh, I need to re-equip the charcoal pine resin. Um, so many souls. Where is it? Up oh, there it is. Okay. Let's do less. Well, I guess we did decent last time. It was just that I did not. I literally did not see where the second one was because it was flying. God, that would have been a insta death attack or combo if the big explosion into the bigger explosion hit. Ooh, that crit. No! Oh, run! Yeah. <laughs> Not sure how I did so good dodging the sword that one fight. No. no. My God. Jump, roll. Okay, that seems to work quite a bit of the time. I'll take it. Now let's just play strategically. Okay, he's firing his lasers. That guy, oh my god. Why are you hanging so much, game? Nope. Where's the other one? I don't care. Just run! Dodge! Dang! <laughs> Dodge! Okay. Dodge. Dodge. Yes! Okay. Whew! Finally. Oh, and they were getting ready for the explosion of exploding fireball. Bad times. Okay, wow. That was close. I believe it was close. I'm not really sure how far into the fireball explosion it was. Also, when taught, like, um, since I was already rank 3 in the Covenant, I kind of noticed, like, why aren't the gates already open, or is that just, you have to kill the Dark Lurker type requirement for the gates to, or the portals to always be open. Um, anyway, um, I can't think of anything else to do for the new game, like, new game plus run through without going into new game plus plus. Oh my god, that damage. Holy crap. Um, so I guess that, like, the new game plus run is done, I guess. I, I can't think of anything else to do with it. Um, except for doing, like, minor things that aren't really any different than new game, as far as I know, anyway. Um... 
So I think that the new game, or Dark Souls 2 playthrough, is like finally done for now anyway, because I will be doing the next two DLCs whenever they come out. And I might get around to doing PvP videos eventually, but those normally take, or as far as I know, they would probably take quite a bit of time in editing to make, like, decent, instead of just unedited, like, just all the PvP ma- Like, it would be easier to live stream, but I do not have the internet capacity to do such things. Um, so yeah, um... Unless I think of something I missed, I think that it will be like the next Dark Souls 2 video will potentially be a PvP video, but probably more likely going to be the Crown of the Iron or Old Iron King DLC, which comes out later this month. I want to say in the 20 ish range of August. Um, so yeah, I guess I'll see you guys there. I hope you're all enjoying the Dark Souls, or I hope you all enjoyed the Dark Souls 2 playthrough through New Game and New Game Plus. And yeah, if you enjoyed it, feel free to leave a like, and I will see you guys either in another episode or the next DLC. Bye. Psych, I forgot one thing. Steam made us go offline. So, it'd be a good thing to see how many deaths we had in two playthroughs. 616. That's quite a bit, but I'm not sure if that counts like invading deaths or not, because I've died and, like, I've died in invasion. So I'm not really sure what it all counts as, but I want to say that's not too high. I think I did a decent job. I'm not... Like, I would say I'm better than average at PvE, maybe, potentially, kind of depends on the day. Sometimes I do terrible, sometimes I do decent. Um, but yeah, that's it. I just wanted to make sure I checked that, because I think the number of, like, the death counter is a good thing to have in the game. But, yep, that's all. Bye for real this time.